Hello there, it's Kevin from Melanin Man Travels. Thanks for joining me. As you can see, I'm standing in front of my house. So as you are planning to become a black expat, to travel abroad, to live abroad, to join the Blacks community, a question arises. What do you do with your house? Come inside, let's talk about it. For those of you who are new to my channel, again, I'm Kevin, your host, coach, and guide to international travel for black men and for black men preparing to black set. Home ownership is a prized status in American society. For some of us, this position of homeowner has afforded us an opportunity to build wealth. However, there is something in this descriptor that just stands out. The term is home ownership, not house ownership. Why do you think that is? The facts are, when you engage a realtor, a banker, and the various professionals that are needed in a real estate transaction, you indeed are purchasing a quintessential house, be it a condo or a loft, a townhome or a single family dwelling. You are not purchasing a home. The general definition of a home is a dwelling that houses a social or family unit. One person, 20 people. It is actually the people that make a home. So when you consider your house in your Blacksit plans, you should ask yourself another question. Is my house a home or an asset? And while you're thinking, maybe you would like to subscribe to this channel. It only takes a click of a button. If I have given you some things to think about, why don't you like this video and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss out on future conversations. So what is a home? Homes are created over time with hard work and relationships. They are built upon the foundation of experiences and memories, both good and bad. So the idea of leaving one's home can indeed be a difficult one. But do you actually have to leave the foundation of your home because you want to move abroad? Do the developed relationships, the great memories, and the amazing experiences truly reside inside your quote unquote home? Or are they things that can move with you? If these non-physical elements that built your home can indeed be taken with you, then is your house your home? Or are you and your family your home? Go with me for a minute. Unless you built your house from the ground up and you were its first occupants, the house you own is a dwelling that served as a quote unquote home for some family in the past. And it will serve that same purpose for a different family in the future. Is it possible that the emotional attachments that we have to our physical possessions really get in the way of our true heart's desires? Would you say that these attachments really serve us well? More food for thought. If your house is not solely a home, maybe it is an asset. An asset is a useful or valuable property that's owned by a person made available to meet their needs, debts, commitments, or legacies. Wow, that's a lot to unpack, especially for those of us who are pursuing our Blacks and Journeys. I would like for you to engage with the community in the comments on this. Also, what are you looking to gain from your Blacksit journey. For me, 
One of the things I desire is freedom. I desire to be free, to live wherever I want, however I want, and have the financial freedom to do so anywhere in the world. Maybe this is a shared desire amongst many of you out there. Maybe it's time for us to change how we view our houses from homes to assets, where we can fall in line with the definition that I mentioned before. Again, our houses can be dwelling units that are useful in meeting our financial needs, paying off debts, and helping create the life legacies that we seek. So, how do you do this? Everyone's situation is different, but here are three options you may want to consider. Number one, if you know your Blackson journey will keep you living abroad, either the majority of your time or for full time, you may want to sell your asset, also known as your house. Any proceeds that you gain from the sale can be used to finance your life abroad. Some of the funds can even be invested to continue making you money while you're living in your dream destination. Number two, you may want to use your asset to start a short-term rental business. If the numbers make sense, you may be able to hire a short-term rental management company like Guestable, Vecasa, or Rabu. This option may be beneficial if you're not yet fully committed to being abroad full-time. Your asset can generate short-term rental income while you're away. And when you desire to return to your house for a period of time, the management company can remove its rental availability and you can move back in. If a short-term rental option does not work for you, maybe the tried and true long-term rental market will better fit your needs. If you desire a permanent or closer to permanent move abroad, then a long-term tenant might enhance your Blackset journey. You may be comfortable with managing a long-term tenant yourself with some stateside assistance, of course, from a family member or some friends, or you may want to turn the reins over to a management company that handles long-term rentals like Home 365 or Mind Management. Now, of course, you need to conduct your own due diligence with any company that you choose to do business with because Melanin Man Travels is not providing an endorsement for any of the companies mentioned in this video. However, I do want to provide you with information and a start in your research to determine what will work best for you in your future travel abroad. Now that you've decided to black it, you also need to make a decision about your house. So how will you answer the question? Is your house a home or is it an asset? And once you decide what will be your next move share with us in the comments and thank you for watching